Do you know what this is called in English? What about this? Today, we're talking about Christmas in the United States. First things first, Christmas is a Christian religious holiday which celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe was the Son of God. But interestingly, about 90% of Americans celebrate this holiday, even though only about 64% of Americans are Christian. So about 29% of the people who celebrate Christmas in the United States are not even Christian. This is because for many people in the United States, Christmas is really just an exciting winter holiday where we spend time with friends and family, not a real religious celebration. And this way of celebrating Christmas is what we are going to focus on in this video today. However, I am going to give you a very quick summary of what we usually learn about the birth of Jesus Christ, because this will help you better understand many of the things that we do during this holiday. So, Jesus' mother, Mary, and her husband, Joseph, had to travel to Bethlehem. And when they got there, there were no rooms available for them to spend the night in, so someone let them sleep in the room where they kept their animals. And this is where Jesus was born. This is why when you see images of Jesus' birth, you might see donkeys or other animals. And it's also why you see him lying in a manger, the long wooden thing that animals eat from. At the time that Jesus was born, shepherds were outside taking care of their sheep when suddenly angels appeared in the sky and told the shepherds that someone very important had been born and that they must go see them. So they did. Later, three other men also arrived with gifts for baby Jesus. These men had seen a very bright star in the sky, and they knew that this meant that a king had been born, so they followed it to Bethlehem to find him and give him gifts. In English, most people call these men the three wise men. So, that is our very quick history lesson, and now we can talk about what Americans do on Christmas. In the U.S., most people celebrate Christmas on December 24th and December 25th. The 24th is called Christmas Eve Day. The evening of the 24th is called Christmas Eve, and the 25th is called Christmas Day. However, the exciting time period before and after Christmas, which we usually call Christmas time or the Christmas season, actually begins right after Thanksgiving, which is always on the fourth Thursday of November. So although Christmas is celebrated on the 24th and 25th of December, we start seeing things related to Christmas and doing Christmas activities much earlier than that. For example, most people start putting up Christmas decorations sometime between the end of November and the beginning of December. Some of the most common Christmas decorations that you'll see are Christmas lights, wreaths, garlands, mistletoe, and nativity scenes. Nativity scenes are basically displays that represent the birth of Jesus Christ. They usually feature baby Jesus in the manger, his parents Mary and Joseph, shepherds, the three wise men, angels, and a few animals. Some people have small nativity scenes, which they put on a table or a bookshelf, and some people have life-sized ones, which they put in front of their house. I don't know the whole history of wreaths, mistletoe, and garlands, but basically, they're all decorations that are made from evergreen plants. Evergreen plants are plants that do not lose their leaves or needles. So, unlike other plants, they are still green in the winter. Also, if two people are standing under mistletoe at the same time, those two people are supposed to kiss. Again, I don't know exactly why this is, but you'll see it in Christmas movies and you'll hear about it in Christmas songs. 
Most families also buy Christmas trees. Some families buy real evergreen trees, and some families buy plastic trees that they can use year after year. I don't know exactly why we do this, but I can tell you that it's something that began in Central Europe hundreds of years ago and has continued to this day. The things that we decorate our trees with are called ornaments. These can be anything from glass balls, to angels, to snowmen, to almost anything that you can imagine. And on top of the tree, most families will place either an angel or a star. These represent the star that was in the sky the night that Jesus was born, and the angel that appeared to the shepherds. Yes, buying Christmas trees does have an environmental impact. However, we don't just go into forests and cut down large trees. Usually, these are trees that are grown on a farm for this specific purpose. In many places, you can also recycle your tree so that it doesn't end up in a landfill. For example, Christmas trees can be used to produce mulch, or they can be used to stop beach erosion. Other things that we do during this period include Christmas shopping, listening to Christmas songs, visiting relatives, baking Christmas cookies, making homemade Christmas decorations, building gingerbread houses, wrapping presents, volunteering, and donating to charities. The exact things that you do on the 24th and 25th of December really depend on your family's traditions. For example, some families open presents on Christmas Eve, the evening of the 24th, whereas other families open presents on Christmas morning, the morning of the 25th. Anyway, here is what we usually do in my family. On Christmas Eve day, we don't usually do anything very special. We usually just hang out at home and maybe wrap some presents. And in the evening, we usually have Swedish food, because that is what my mom grew up eating on Christmas Eve. So we usually have things like Swedish meatballs, rice pudding, brown beans, and lingonberries. And after dinner, we just hang out at home and maybe watch a Christmas movie. When I was little, we would also go to church in the evening, but we haven't done that in a long time. On Christmas morning, the first thing that I do is look in my stocking. Stockings are basically just long socks, but Christmas stockings are special stockings that we put small gifts in. We usually hang them by the fireplace, but if you don't have a fireplace, you can hang them anywhere you want. This is because a long time ago, there was a man called St. Nicholas, who lived in the area that is now the country of Turkey. There was also another man with three daughters, and after this man's wife died, he didn't have enough money for his daughters to get married, so they were probably going to have to become prostitutes. When St. Nicholas heard about this, he dropped some gold into their window and somehow some of the gold fell into a stocking that was drying by the fireplace. And when people found out about this, children began hanging their socks, hoping that St. Nicholas would come and put gold in them. St. Nicholas is also the man who the legend of Santa Claus is based on. If you don't know who Santa is, he has a big white beard, wears a red suit, and flies around in a magical sleigh pulled by flying reindeer to deliver gifts to children on Christmas. But like I started saying a moment ago, the first thing I do on Christmas morning is look in my stocking. Usually, stockings will be full of small gifts like chocolate, pens, gift cards, and Christmas tree ornaments. When shopping, we call these things stocking stuffers, because we stuff our stockings with them. Once everyone has woken up, had breakfast, and looked in their stockings, then we take turns giving each other the presents that are under the tree. And after that, we basically just relax at home until dinner time. For dinner on Christmas Day, most families eat food that is very similar to what we eat on Thanksgiving. There's usually some type of roasted meat, 
like chicken, turkey, beef, or ham, and that is usually served with roasted vegetables, mashed potatoes, and gravy. And if we don't feel like cooking, we might go to a Chinese restaurant. This is because most restaurants are closed on Christmas, but you can usually find a Chinese restaurant that is open. So yeah, that's not everything that we do on Christmas, but I think that is most of it. If you have any other questions about Christmas, please leave them in the comments.